Hello kiddies, lodged in my lug holes today I have the Tick Pods Free by Mobvoi, best known for the Tick Watch wearables. As you might be able to tell from the name and the design, they have taken inspiration perhaps from Apple's AirPods, I think that's fair to say. At 120 quid, the Tick Pods Free ain't exactly cheap, but they have undercut Apple by 40 whole pounds. And the best thing is, the Tick Pods Free are also compatible with Android devices as well as iOS. I've had the Tick Pods Free stuck in my head for a few days now, and here is my full in-depth review. And don't worry if you notice some continuity errors in this video as well, because I shot some of it when I was setting up the tick pods and the rest of it now a few days later. And don't forget for more than the latest greatest tech to give that subscribe button a bloody good poke and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So they come in three colours. This is the dark blue version. You can also pick them up in white and also a kind of a burnt orangey red colour as well. One thing I'm not seeing in here is any replacement rubbery earbud things, although they do just pop off. Uh, so you could replace them with other ones as and when needed. Uh, you just have to provide your own. As you can see, quite an interesting little design there. Looks nice and neat, quite light as well, although you'll definitely still feel them when they're all lodged in your lug holes. All right, let's try slipping the tick pods on in. So they just fit in there snugly. They're fully IPX5 rated as well. So that means they're basically sweat and water resistant. Uh, so if you're in a heavy downpour or just a bit of a sweaty betty, no worries. And there we go. And it's now Bluetooth parents. So I will yank out my mobile uh, go to Bluetooth and hopefully they'll just pop up here there we go tick pods nice and easy now the tick pods are nice and comfortable to wear so you can actually do a proper bit of head banging uh, not that I've got the hair for that anymore or a good bit of jogging or whatever and I haven't experienced any problems with slippage or anything like that that's my impression of jogging by the way that's exactly how I jog of course just like the airpods you've got to make sure you don't fumble them when you're pulling them out or chucking them into your head because if you drop one of these things it will go skittering off across the ground as I had did experience once in an apple store of all places cue a proper stupid moment with me scrambling about trying to stop them before they go off under a display or something fun times and this flat edge here is actually uh, your touch controls as well you can use that to skip tracks change the volume things like that you can adjust the volume with a quick swipe up or down that touch panel as you can see there you can also double tap to skip to your next song and lung press in order to bring up the assistant. So hopefully, as you can see there, it is now loading the Google Assistant. Overall, the touch controls do work well. Uh, the only problem is occasionally when I'm trying to change volume, I'll accidentally skip a track or something like that. But on the whole, it works about as well as any other wireless solution. It's kind of annoying that you can't pause your music with a tap as well, but then that would kind of like overcomplicate the tapping system. The TickPod does pause your music at least when you pull it out of your lug hole. So if somebody's talking at you, you can just quickly yank it out. It'll stop what you're doing and you can have a conversation and then just chuck it back in. Just once again, just be careful not to fumble it or lose it while it's out of your head. Of course, that's all well and good, but if the sound quality is crap, then who cares? But thankfully, the Tick Pods Free pump out some really impressively good audio. The clarity is fantastic no matter what kind of music you listen to. The bass is surprisingly good considering, again, the size of these things. Rock music sounds great, metal music sounds great, classical music sounds great. And if you just want to listen to some audio box or something like that, the vocals come through nice and crisp and clear. And on top volume, you'll easily drown out any screaming babies, obnoxiously loud business twats, and anyone else that you're stuck in close proximity proximity to. Call quality is also great as well. The built-in mics can clearly pick up your voice even in quite a noisy environment and again I had no problems with reception, connection, anything like that. As for the battery life, the Tick Pods Free gives you about four hours of use roughly per charge and the good news is when you slap them back inside that case they then charge back up again. You can charge them roughly four times in all with a fully charged case. That basically means you'll get through a full week of commutes no problem. So in verdict would I recommend the Tick Pods Free by Movoy? Well they're definitely very solid. Great audio quality, decent battery life, no problems with connectivity or anything like that, and the touch controls do work well even if you do occasionally skip a track by accident. Of course at 120 quid they are quite expensive similar to the AirPods even though they don't quite reach that premium Apple pricing. For about half the price you can get the OnePlus Bullets wireless which again great sound quality, solid battery life, and while they're not completely wire free they do have a band which stretches around your back, they do have that sort of wireless freedom. But if you're looking for an AirPod alternative that will work with Android I definitely highly recommend the Mobvi Tick Pod free. That's my full review. Don't forget to hit subscribe and do that notifications bell for more on the latest greatest tech and thanks for watching. Cheers. Love you. Bye.